हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप आप लोग सब अच्छे हो टूडेज टॉपिक इज यू नो द टॉप नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन फॉर पाइपिंग इंस्पेक्टर द पार्ट वन ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड सो यू शुड गो द पार्ट वन फर्स्ट देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द थर्टी क्वेश्चन एंड दिस थर्टी क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो वेरी हेल्पफुल टोटल नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन विल बी देयर एंड दिस नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन दो इफ यू लर्न दिस नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली डेफिनेटली यू कैन पास दिस एक्ट पाइपिंग इंटरव्यू एग्जाम सो लेट स्टार्ट द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ थर्टी क्वेश्चन ना क्वेश्चन वन वाई डू यू प्रोवाइड ड्रीप लेक इन स्ट्रीम लाइन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वाई डू यू प्रोवाइड ड्रीप लेक इन स्ट्रीम लाइन सो एंसर इज टू रिमूव कंडेंसेट वेन देर इज अ रेज ऑफ सेम इन द पाइप अलॉन्ग द फ्लो डायरेक्शन इफ ड्रीप लेग इज नॉट प्रोवाइडेड इन स्ट्रीम लाइन वॉट विल हैपन द कंडेंसेट विच फॉर्म्स इन साइड द पाइप विल रिजल्ट इन वाटर हैमर इफेक्ट कॉजिंग डैमेज ऑफ पाइपिंग सिस्टम सो अंडरस्टैंड वाई वी नीड द ड्रीप लेग इन स्ट्रीम लाइन बिकॉज ऑफ द द कंडेंसेट विच फॉर्म्स इन साइड द पाइप इफ इट इज रिजल्ट ऑफ वाटर then it will hammer the effect of causing damage to piping system so this is the question one answered question two what do you mean the jacket piping jacketed piping what do you mean answer is piping which is recognized as providing the most uniform application of heat processing you can say as well as maintaining the most uniform processing temperature where steam tracing is not capable of maintaining the temperature of fluid constant usually used for molten sulfur polymer service so piping that is for recognize as providing the most uniform application application of heat to of the process as well as maintaining the most uniform processing temperature so you understand the question number 2 answer question number 3 if we are using valve as a test limit what are the things to be checked so we are using a valve test limit what are the things to be checked this is a very important question answer the valve certificate of seat test to be attached so valve certificate of seat test there is mentioned the test limit so valve certificate of seat test to be attached you have to check question number 4 what is pnid so we saw many people ask this question what is pnid so ask like that you can ask to your employee give me pnid so what is pnid piping and instrument diagram shows piping layouts and details notes relating to piping and instrumentation so in pnid you can get the all details related to engineering piping and instruments instrumentation what are the requirement for the particular line question number 5 what is short pinning short pinning is into inducing chemical stress in a material surface layer by bombarding it with a selected medium under control condition that is called the short pinning question number 6 what is cold spring very important question application of mechanical stress upon a piping segment to achieve bolting and connection to another segment it is not acceptable so application where it is used application of mechanical stress upon a piping segment to achieve bolting and connection to another segment so it is not acceptable so cold spring is a very important question so those people still means uh, you are not understanding the answer just let me know i will explain to you if i explain then it will take time too much question number 7 what is an inspection and test plan everybody know then what is gritp so don't bother this question what is a g e r i t p that is for saudi aramco standard is calling like this so you should know the inspection and test plan what is it is a mandatory item in the quality plan to guide a to guide an assurance quality in a specific type of work in a specific sequence of qc activity steps so you can check in your itp there is specific type of work is there means from the beginning to end what will be the activity will be there that sequence is there in qc activity steps 
क्वेश्चन नंबर एट वट इज एन आइसोमेट्रिक डाइंग एंसर ए डिटेल पाइपिंग सिस्टम लाइन ड्रॉइंग विद रेफरेंस टू कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड मेटेरियल रिक्वायरमेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड द आइसोमेट्रिक डाइंग द वेरी जिस्ट एंसर यू शुड गिव ए डिटेल पाइपिंग सिस्टम और लाइन ड्रॉइंग विद रेफरेंस टू कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड मेटेरियल रिक्वायरमेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन वट इज ऑफ एन ओवर लुक ट्यूरिंग अरिफिस प्लाइंज फेब्रिकेशन सो यू आर डूइंग अरिफिस प्लाइंज फेब्रिकेशन यू कैन इट इज समाइम्स ओवर लुक वट इज दैट एंड सर इज ग्राइंडिंग बार्ट वेल्ड फ्लाश एंड सील वेल्डिंग ऑरिफिस सो बार्ट वेल्ड फ्लाश यू हैव टू ग्राइंड एंड द सील वेल्डिंग ऑरिफिस यू हैव टू ग्राइंड क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन What NDT methods are required during orifice plane installation? Orifice plane installation का time में which NDT method is required? Answer visual and PT and MT. This one is required or PT or MT. Visual you have to do must, then you have to do PT or MT. Question number eleven. What are the criteria for cold bending? This is very important question. In cold bending, what are the criteria is there? You should know. First is Cold bend are made below 649 degree centigrade. So you should remember, cold bend always made below 649 degree centigrade. Below 315 degree centigrade for great for pipe strengthening by cold work. Only seamless grade P pipes are to be used for wet source service. Cold bend to a radius of 50 or less are heat treated at 593 degree centigrade to 649 degree centigrade for one hour per 25.4 mm of nominal wall thickness and not less than one hour for cold bend with a radius less than 30 d the nominal diameter divided by the nominal wall thickness does not exceed 35.0 for wet or service each bend has a hardness measurement made at the outer radius of the bend area maximum allowable hardness is 237 bnl so this is the requirement means criteria you can say for this cold bending so question number 12 what are the criteria for hot bending the very important question furnace hot bends are only be used for grade b pipe furnace hot bends are made at 870 degree centigrade to 950 degree centigrade 954 so These are the hot bends are made 871 degree centigrade to 950 degree and 54 degree centigrade, but may be finished below 871 degree centigrade. Means we can finish below 871 degree centigrade the hot bend provided the bend is started above 871 degree centigrade. The pipe is not heated above 954 degree centigrade prior to start the bending. After bending, the bend is cooled in steel air. So this is the criteria for hot bending. so uh, i want to say one thing those people still not subscribe my channel please subscribe then it will encourage to me to upload to more videos so question number 13 how do we identify nice carbon steel and normal carbon steel so we have to identify the nice carbon steel and normal carbon steel how answer by color coding we can see the nice carbon steel and normal carbon steel the color coding is different Question number fourteen: How do we preserve pipe and pipe fittings? This is a very important question. We have to explain this question. Answer: Pipe shall not be stored directly on the ground. This is very important. Pipe shall be placed on wooden sleeper. Means you have to put the pipe the on the wooden sleeper. Stacking of pipe shall be made in a manner to avoid damage. You have to stacking as per the procedure should it should be. As per the procedure to avoid the damage of pipes, fittings and valves shall be stored sleeping craters on racks. Stainless pipe and fitting must be separated from the carbon steel. So very important. Where it is you have stacking stainless stainless pipe, you should not keep the same here same places the carbon steel. And we will protect the sediments on pipe fitting while in storage. Means when the pipe in storage area, so in bevel should be protected. Flange face and thread shall be protected from rust by applying suitable rust preventive. So you have to put some rust preventive on the flange faces and threads to protect the any damages. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन हाउ टू कट एस एस पाइप एंड व्हाट आर द थिंग्स टू बी एंड बिफोर कटिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन यू आर डूइंग यू आर कटिंग वन एस एस पाइप बट यू हैव टू एंश्योर व्हाट यू हैव टू एंश्योर बिफोर कटिंग स्टैंडल स्टील एस एस पाइप बाई ग्राइंडिंग और प्लाज्मा कटिंग प्रोवाइडिंग इंटरनल प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम स्पैटर्ड फ्लैग एक्सेट्रा बिफोर कटिंग द पाइप वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द हिट नंबर विल बी ट्रांसफर टू द कट पाइप बाय लो स्ट्रेस डाई स्टैम्पिंग पेंट मार्किंग और टैगिंग सो दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेनलेस स्टील पाइप फॉर ओनली नॉट फॉर स्टेनलेस स्टील पाइप इट फॉर कार्बन स्टील पाइप ऑल्सो यू हैव टू डू ऑल दिस थिंग्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन वट आर द टॉलरेंस टू बी फॉलोड इन पाइपिंग फर्स्ट इज द टॉलरेंस फॉर एक्शियल डायमेंशन फेस टू फेस सेंटर टू सेंटर लोकेशन ऑफ अटैचमेंट सेल बी प्लस माइनस थ्री एम एम मैक्सिमम और एज पर द क्लाइंट रिक्वायरमेंट सो दिस आर द टॉलरेंस यू हैव टू फॉलोड इन पाइपिंग प्लेटिंग ऑफ बैंड यू हैव टू चेक मेजर एट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द लार्जेस्ट एंड द स्मॉलेस्ट आउटसाइड डायमीटर एज क्रॉस सेक्शन It should not be exceed five percent of the nominal diameter of the pipe. Flattening of pipes at weld shall not exceed three percent of the nominal pipe diameter. Lateral transition of branches and connection from the central line shall not exceed one point five mm plus minus. Plate board holes at central and established central line. Rotation of plate as offset between the elevation of board holes on opposite side of the plate central line. That should not be two point four mm. So these are the you have to follow. You are working as an inspector. Also, you can see here. You have to check also the tilt of planes measure. At the periphery across the any diameter shall not exceed 1.6 mm. For piping over 3 inch NPS connected to masonry equipment, planes and alignments shall be within the following limits: vertical bolt hole offset is 2.4 mm plus minus. Horizontal bolt offset you can say 2.4 mm plus minus. Rotational offset plus minus 2.4 mm. Planes face tilt across. All that measurement has taken from the co uh, acceptance code. 0.01 inch, 0.01 inch, 4 inch for flange outside diameter up to a maximum of 0.030 inch. Flange face separation gasket thickness plus minus 1.6 mm. Combination of vertical, horizontal, and rotational offset plus minus 3.2 mm. If a spectacle plate is installed between two flanges, what will this will these tolerances can be increased by 30 percent or except. For tolerance for flange face, till the actual diameter and flange face separation. So this is the criteria. Also the a uh, wrinkle. If you see wrinkle, buckle, dent, crack, and mechanical damage is caused by for rejection, and is defined as deviation of the pipe wall from the ideal contour of more than fifteen percent of the normal surface or perpendicular to the surface. Then dimension of the flat spot shall not exceed of the value given by the formula D equal to J into two into T into D. D equal to largest dimension of the flat spot. T is nominal wall thickness and D is the nominal pipe diameter. Pipe diameter. So this is the formula. You can check the value. Question number seventeen. What is the line schedule? So how many people know this question? Answer the line schedule. This is the very common questions, common topic in piping. A line schedule gives the full details in PID number, line identification number, line routing, fluid service, phase density, temperature. Very important questions. If you give this answer, definitely they will satisfy. Painting system PWH2, jacketing identification for the entire unit. So this is the answer for plan. line schedule. What will be there in line schedule? Question number eighteen. Why weave hole is provided in pad? You see some hole in their pad when you are installing. Answer. 
reinforcement pad of welded branch connection shall be pneumatically leak tested with air at 1.75 bar through a minimum of 1 fourth inch tap vent hole or weave hole for venting and examine for leak is there or not using a soup salsa solution at a reduced pressure of 0.2 to 0.35 bar so this is actually we are using for leakage by soap testing the six mm tap vent hole not to be located in the cross of the branch mean it should not be located in the cross on the cross of the branch question number 19 what four types of inspection action points are found in the itp and explain this is a very important question as the QAQC inspector, you should know this question also. Four things are there. One is old, another is witness, another is surveillance, another is review. So we'll discuss one by one. Hold, what is hold? Hold means QAQC organization shall be notified to the your client in advance. Inspection or test shall not be carried out without QAQC organization representative. Means you cannot start the inspection without their presence. Now is witness. What is witness? Witness is QAQC organization shall be notified to company the timing of inspection or test in advance. However, if the inspection of test shall be performed at schedule, if QAQC organization representative is not present, means if client is not present, you can start the inspection. Surveillance means QAQC organization just monitor the work in progress. We do not require anything to notice to construction organization. Review means only review or approval of documents. You have to review your documents, reports like. Question number 20. What are the jack screw and when are they required? Jack screw they are located at flange connection to facilitate maintenance and removal of spectacle and orifice plate to facilitate maintenance. For Orifice flange jack screw shall be installed at three and nine three o'clock and nine o'clock. So install at three and nine o'clock position. So three jack screw shall be in orifice flange we have to install and nine o'clock position you have to install. So this is the jack screw and this is the required main. Question number 21. What are the piping joint limitation? Piping joint limitation. This is a very important question. Socket welded pipe in hazardous service that is one and half inch maximum for sore service if you go socket welded joints are not allowed the axial gap between male and female components of a maximum of 3 mm and minimum of 1.5 mm this gap is obtained prior to welding in hazardous service the maximum size of threaded connection is one and half inch for standard fitting and valves in non hazardous service, the maximum size of threaded connection is 3 inch and standard fittings and valves. So, the minimum number of linkage five threads per nominal size is as follows for half inch and 3 4 inch 6 threaded must be engaged, for 1 inch through 1 and half inch 7 threaded must be engaged, and last one is for 2 inch through 3 inch 8 thread must be engaged. So this is the piping joint limitation. You should know this limitation when you are doing the inspection. Question number 22. What are the general requirements for test manifolds and fitting? Test manifold and fitting the general requirement. If you go pressure testing manifold or separately pressure tested, at least 1.2 times of the test pressure you have to do the pressure testing. Pressure testing of design of test manifold components exit system test pressure by 20 percent so a blow down valve of adequate pressure rating is installed to depressurize the system safely test piping fitting and hoses are designed or valve or have adequate pressure rating that must exit system class test pressure paddles or spectacle blind that is other fabricated test items used to isolate test solution are to list the same code class rating of system under test. So this is the general requirement you should know for test manifold and fittings. Question number 23. Define pressure test survey test. So pressure test is a test conducted to piping or equipment by subjecting it to an internal pressure using liquid or gas 
to ensure strength and tightness of the system means we are doing the pressure test for internal pressure using what liquid or gas to strength to get the strength and tightness to ensure in service test what a leak test only we are doing at operating pressure using the service fluid so we are doing the service test means only leak test we are doing pressure pressure test means you are doing as per the procedure actual pressure for to ensure to strength and tightness question number 24 what is material receiving inspection we are doing the material receiving inspection what is match the physical condition in field to service condition shown on the drawings so physical condition we have to check whether it is matching the service condition or not specification and marking color coding and pmi is there or not identification of braid by astm specification listed on drawing bolting list will be give clear requirement identification of fittings and flanges by correct rating Site and class, everything mentioned are there or not in mill certificate also. We have to check for the correct scheduling of pipe by a vernier clear and ensure piping within tolerance is there or not. So this is the metal receiving inspection we have to check. Question number twenty-five. What is the different ASME thirty-one code for pressure piping? So as me 31 code for pressure piping there is so many code is there as me 31.1 for power piping as me 31.2 for fuel gas piping as me b 31.3 for process piping as me b 31.4 for pipeline transportation system for liquid hydrocarbon and other liquid 31.5 is refrigeration piping 31.8 is gant gas transformation and distribution piping system 31.9 is building services piping 31.1 was slurry transportation piping system this is the 31 the different code you should know whenever the interviewer asks this question you have to answer question number 26 what are the factors in a mill test certificate so in mill test certificate what do you need to check very carefully one is chemical composition this is the one important factor another is the mechanical properties that is hardness tensile strength yield strength elongation reduce of area all these things we have to check as per standard heat number also you have to check this is the main factors of mill test certificate question number 27 what is the rope used for lifting the external coated pipe so external coated pipe when it is there what are the which type of rope we are using for lifting nylon rope we are using question number 28 What is the minimum clearance between a pipe and structure? This is a very important question. The 550 mm is the minimum clearance would be there. Question number 29. What is the hydro test holding time for underground above ground piping? So in above ground ground piping, hydro test holding time. What is? 30 minute is the holding time for the above ground piping. Question number 30. The last question. what are the important activities to be checked during flange alignment fit up so you are finished means the fabricator has finished the flange alignment fit up now you are inspected you have to check what you have to check you have to check miss alignment is there or not flange phase you have to check rotation of flange that is plus minus 2.4 mm tilt of the flange you have to check shall not exit 1.6 mm from the square position flange phase thickness gasket thickness plus minus 1.6 mm combination of vertical horizontal and rotational offset that is plus minus 3.2 mm so you understand the all 30 question this is a very important question without this questions the piping inspector question it will be not completed so this 30 question and the previous 30 question means 60 question already i have given and you should get all the questions very clearly so If you have any questions please let me know in the comment box thanks a lot for watching this video so please subscribe my channel those people are still watching my video please subscribe my channel to get the regular updates and you will not miss any videos in future thanks a lot this is my channel link you can see here so you can go there and you can see lots of videos here 
Just subscribe, then you will get more updates. Thanks a lot. Take care.